and welcome to this quick video on how Coding Game and Workable work together. I'm guessing that if you're here, you already know what Workable has to offer. But what about Coding Game? We provide hiring companies with a pre-employment technical testing solution. Recruiters use our solution, Coding Game Assessment, to evaluate developers' technical skills as part of their screening process. We help them quickly, efficiently, and fairly shortlist developers based on their coding skills. Coding Game is now entirely integrated with Workable's ATS software. What does this mean for you as a Workable customer? This means that you can now send and review a Coding Game test straight from your Workable dashboard without having to switch between tools. You can manage your recruitment workflow from A to Z within the Workable interface that you know and love and benefit from using Coding Game's tech-friendly hands-on programming tests. How you ask? Well, let's take a look. To get started, you'll need to set up and enable your Coding Game Workable integration. To do so, simply head to the Coding Game Help Center at help.codinggame.com, search Workable, and carefully follow the instructions provided. Don't worry, we walk you through each step. Once you've successfully activated the integration, you're ready to start using Workable and Coding Game together as part of your recruitment process. Let's see what that looks like. We'll start by creating the job post that you're recruiting for. For the sake of this video, let's say you're looking to add a C-sharp senior developer to your tech team. In your workable settings page, click integrations. Scroll down to look for coding game and make sure that it's selected. Next, head over to jobs on the top left and click create a new job. You'll be taken to this Job Details tab where you'll fill out all the info that you want to include in your job post. Go ahead and enter details such as location, job description. When you're done, click Save and Continue. In this Application Form tab, you can see a draft of the job post that you just created. Click on Publish and select your preferred publishing preferences. For demo purposes, We'll choose Use Confidentially so the offer won't show in public. Now let's go over to the Workflow tab. In this tab, you can add the different steps to each of the stages in your hiring process. Remember that it's good practice to test your tech talent early on. Not only will it save you time and headaches, but it will also help to prevent bias in the process. This way, you can be confident that you're choosing candidates based solely on their skills. Hooray! You've just published your job post! For each stage, you may add a coding game step. Let's say that in the interview stage, you want to add a coding game step by clicking Add Assessment. Scroll down to third-party assessment providers and click on the coding game row. This is where you choose which coding game test should be sent to your candidate. You'll see that all of the tests from your coding game account are listed here. Simply select the one you need and hit Save Changes. Hooray, you've just set up your technical test and workable. Obviously, in the real world, after creating a job post and making it visible everywhere, you'd start receiving direct candidate applications. But for the sake of this video, let's say you want to manually add a candidate. Click Jobs on the top left corner, then click on the c -sharp Developer Senior post that you're hiring for. Go to Add Candidates on the top right and select Enter Details Manually from the drop-down menu. Fill in their details, including their email address. And don't forget this step, or your candidate won't receive their coding test. When you're done, hit Create Candidate. You'll now be able to follow your candidate through the different stages of your recruitment process. Say you've just reviewed their application and want to interview them by phone. You can move them to this step by clicking on the green button, Move to Phone Screen. Looking good? Time to move them on to the next step, the Coding Game step. On the Phone Screen tab, click on the green button Move to Interview. Click on Interview, then on this Send Assessment icon. If you want to manually send this test to a candidate, go ahead and hit Confirm. Your candidate will receive an invitation with a link to the test so they can get started on their coding game test. As you can see on this page, all actions associated with this candidate from the very beginning are listed here. Click on the row containing the coding game test. Once your candidate completes their test, the results are sent to Workable and will be visible on their candidate timeline under the tab Interview. See how we display the Coding Game test score right here? For a more thorough view of how your candidate performed, simply click on this link View Report on Coding Game that will redirect you to Coding Game where you can view the detailed report. 
like what you see, move your candidate on to the next stage of your process. And voila! That's how you can use Coding Game and Workable together. If you have any doubts or questions about how to get the best out of Workable and Coding Game, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can contact us at support at codinggame.com. Thanks for watching and happy hiring!